Well, fighting a fire this big at my in my own neighborhood, so to speak, is, is very dif different because we normally are fighting either structure fires, which are house fires, or small brush fires, maybe 10, 20 acre fires, but never the volume of fire that we've seen here in this last week, right here in our backyard. So that's been the hardest part is just keeping our stress levels down because this is this is where I live and I have family here. And so that's been the hardest part about this whole fire is the stress of my community. Like my community is on fire and we're here to protect our community, but we can only do so much. Sometimes it felt very, uh, like we weren't able to do anything, it was futile. We would put as much water as we had and it, it didn't seem to do one thing. So that was, that was probably the hardest part. This isn't our, our normal engine, so we're changing some things out while you're, while you're filming us. Making this one better. I don't want to say it's scary, but it's scary. Uh, because again, we're used to being in a lot of protective gear when we're, when we're fighting structure fires. When we're fighting brush fires, it's you know shirts, pants, helmets, some goggles maybe. So when you're feeling that heat and breathing in a lot of that smoke, as much as we try and protect ourselves, you're still, you're breathing in a lot of that smoke. Your eyes are, are watering. You've got a lot of ash in your eyes. It's, it's very hard to do your job when when, when there's all of that going on. I keep thinking of our engine. I know. And we have a board right up here, so mm -hmm. where'd that go? I don't know what's on the other side in this spot. Yeah. Tell me. Yeah, it, it, it's just very stressful again because there's usually just one engine company. We're fighting a large amount of fire that we're waiting for other resources to get there and help us. Sometimes they come, sometimes they don't. It just depends on what they're doing. So those those first couple days were the most stressful because the the lack of resources because everybody had a fire that they were fighting. So we would finish up and do the best job we could with getting out of fire. We weren't able to stay and put out hot spots afterwards. It was just knocking down the biggest part of the fire and thinking, well, this is gonna be good enough and we would move on to the next one. Watch us move things back into the spot.